Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right, this next exercise will help you both with listening. One of you will speak while the other really just listens. Would someone like to go first? Me. I had this crazy dream. Do we have to do dreams? I was at this fancy restaurant having lunch, and the waiter bought me my entree. It was a salad. It was Lloyd's head on a plate of spinach with his penis sticking out of his ear. And I said, I didn't order this. And the waiter said, you must try it. It's a delicacy. But don't eat the penis. It's just garnish. Mm. Lloyd, what do you think about the dream? I think she should stop telling it at dinner parties to all our friends. I mean, dreams should be private, don't you think? I'm not here to judge or to take sides. I will say, communication is healthy. Uh -huh. Healthy? Telling people she dreams of me being castrated florentined is healthy? Are there any sexual problems in the marriage? Well, the truth is, um, we haven't had sex in, in quite a while. <clears throat> and before that, it wasn't all that, um, oh, what's the word? Noteworthy. Mm-hmm. By our 12th anniversary, we'd gotten into a pretty stale routine. A couple of kisses, a couple of nipple twists. It'd all be over in about the same time it takes to make a cappuccino, I know, because I timed it once. I mean, it's no wonder I had an affair. <clears throat> How could you tell him all that so casually, like you were asking for a glass of water? Actually, may I have a glass of water? Why don't you have oral sex, too? I'll go wait in the car. Ow! Lloyd, how do you feel about Caroline's affair? He just wants me to wear a red A on my chest and sleep in the basement. Is that so unreasonable? Everything's either black or white with him. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't see where he's responsible. And I mean, it, it just didn't mean anything to me. It shouldn't even be counted as an affair. I think we need a ruling on this.